fuck is it? Is it finally here? Mail day. So, yesterday in Canada it was family day, and I decided to celebrate by ordering some movies. Normally don't have a problem with fucking Amazon's delivery people, but today that whoever delivered this package can go fuck themselves. They have it marked that they handed it to the resident, being me, and there was no fucking knock on the door. Um, just to have someone else in my apartment building shoot me a message saying that a whole shitload of Amazon packages were downstairs in front of the lobby. Not even in the lobby where you need a fucking key to get in. Right outside in the waiting area where any fucking cunt can go in and grab your shit and fucking run. And this area is known for having packages fucking stolen from them. So, what the fuck? I hope that fucking guy or girl, whatever the fuck, gets fucking canned. Because this is just fucking unacceptable. Whether it's a fucking $2 package or a nearly $200 package, that person needs to go and get fucked. Anyways, time to open this shit up and make sure nothing's fucking damaged because clearly the person does not give a fuck about the shit they're delivering. And these are things I said I wouldn't order. Uh, when I did the unboxing for the Halloween 2 4K, but shit happens, and I'm a sucker for collections. Uh, still not a big fan of most of the artwork on these. Um, upon initial inspection, the cases don't look banged up or damaged, so that's a plus. Someone was fucking drunk at work, though. They got this one fucking rated E for everyone. What the? Uh, the Halloween movies are not rated E movies. They're not hardcore or anything, but... Certainly not fucking rated E movies. Um, anyways, let's get on with this. So, the first one... These are all the Shout Factory releases, by the way. Uh, Halloween 4K Collector's Edition. And this one's a three-disker. Well, I do hear something rattling inside. Fucking awesome. Gotta love that fucking death rattle on a collector's edition. Yep, Blu-ray was loose. But it doesn't look scratched. So we've got... There's the 4K disc. And then one Blu-ray and the second Blu-ray, which has the original Blu-ray color timing on it. Uh, plus minus 91 minutes for all three. And it does have the OG cover art, thankfully. Because, well, this one's not too bad looking compared to... Uh, what's going to be coming up later in this unboxing. Some of these fucking covers, they really got Michael looking like a fucking... real fucking numpty. Okay, so we've got... First one, how's the 4K disc look? 
Looks good, thankfully. Okay, the first one down. And then we've got this one, at least this cover is fucking dope looking. Halloween 3. I've always been a fan of this one, uh, even when I saw it as a kid and everyone's shitting on it, but I remember being confused as a kid as to why Michael wasn't in it. Uh, but then, you know, you read magazines. Back then, you had to get everything done through magazines. There's no fucking internet. And uh, he just wanted to make different horror movies every Halloween, not necessarily have them based on Michael Myers. So it makes fucking sense. No loose discs. We got... This one's only two discs. We got the Blu-ray and the 4K. Uh, I like that cover, so I won't change that one out. Uh, da, 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 special features. New scan audio commentary with director Tommy Lee Wallace and commentary with Tom Atkins. That's pretty cool. Uh, same things are on the Blu-ray, plus standalone, The Making of Halloween 3. Uh, horrors, Hallowed Grounds, revisiting the original shooting locations, interview with the makeup artist, still gallery, and trailers, and other commercials. That's cool. And this is where Michael starts to look bad. Like, Granted, he's drawn better than I could do, most likely, but for such a large label, yeah, I, I know, I know they can have better artwork. But still, it's not the worst yet. <laughs> uh, no no discs sounding loose there we got the again 4k with the new art blu-ray with the old art uh, new Dolby Atmos mix commentary with Ellie Cornell and Danielle Harris uh, and director Dwight H. Little and author Justin Beam uh, same shit on the Blu-ray, plus the making of Halloween 4 Final Cut, the making of Halloween 4, Horror's Hollowed Grounds, blah blah blah. And this is one that's getting switched out, but I'll just do that off camera. I'm fucking wasting enough time already. So there's part 4, and now... <laughs> what the fuck? They made him look like Nicolas Cage for fuck's sake. Look at that. Like, what? <laughs> it's like Michael of the Corn or some shit. <laughs> Whatever. The, the artwork still doesn't take away from the movies at least, so... And the fact that they've give us the reversible cover with the OG art I am happy for I still just gotta wonder what the fuck <laughs> and yep there's the 4k with the new art blu-ray with the OG art Special features, new Atmos mix, new 4K scan, commentator with Don Shanks and author Justin Beam, uh, along with director Dominique Othenin Gerard and actors Danielle Harris and Jeffrey Landman. And then on the Blu ray, same thing, visiting the shooting locations, making of, and trailers and whatnot. 
fucking stoked to check these out and see how they look in 4k um, I have the other 4k release of the first Halloween put out by Lionsgate I thought that one looked really good uh, from what I've read uh, the Shout Factory re 4k release of the OG Halloween uh, it's pretty much the same same bit rate and everything but if you compare it scene by scene there are certain areas in the film that do look better on this new Shout Factory release so that'll be fucking cool to check out and uh, yeah it's nice to see that even though the driver is a complete fucking cunt um, that nothing was actually damaged in this package um, We'll probably have to go ahead and pull a Karen and make a complaint about the dipshit anyways because if someone had ran off with this, this is not a cheap fucking order. 4Ks in Canada are fucking expensive and say like there were other packages down there that looked fucking huge and probably cost more than my four movies together. Um, so yeah, once again... Fuck you, Amazon driver. Um, but at least I got my shit. And thanks to my neighbor for giving me a heads up that there was a fucking tower of packages downstairs waiting. Um, other than that, that's going to wrap up the unboxing. Thanks for fucking watching, folks. Stay sleazy. Peace.